Hey everybody, I'm back. Hopefully this can be a super quick video on uh, just another subsequent video on doing the basketballs. I have a lot of people ask me a lot of different questions, um, especially when they get the templates and so on and so forth. So I'm going to try really hard to answer as many questions as I possibly can. And I'm going to walk through. This is an order that I've got to get out really quickly. It's supposed to have been done a couple of days ago. She needs it on the 15th. And as you see, today is the 9th. So I got to go ahead and get this, get this ball moving. Go ahead and get done. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is change my mat to 11 by 17. As you see that it is here. I'm going to use 11 by 17 dark transfer. It doesn't matter what kind. I use PPD. I just ordered some from New Fun. N-U-F-U-N. It's supposed to be coming in in a couple of days. I've learned that um, PPD getting it off Amazon is best when you try to order directly from the company. It either takes them a tremendous long time or they never have any in stock. I'm not trying to badmouth them. It's just been my experience. I tried to order a hundred, a big pack the other day. And of course, they didn't have it in stock. So to me, in all my experiences of trying to order anything directly from the PPD website, paper, um, photo paper direct, um, dot com website has always been a disaster for me so I'm just not ever going to try it again and just if I can't get it on Amazon then I will order from new fun which is n u f u n dot com they have a pretty good website I the shipping was pretty fast on it I was supposed to get it Monday um, I just ordered it late so um, right now I am using PPD though that I got from Amazon okay next thing um I'm about to upload the um, template and okay so the same template you guys get that is here that is zipped um, it says extract all I'm just gonna pop it open I'm not gonna extract anything and I'm just gonna go for it right here where I use um, the where it says Microsoft Edge HTML document usually for me that means an, an SVG but it also comes in an affinity designer which will also open up as a Photoshop so if you need to use it either way it's fine so I'm just gonna um, grab this one uh okay go in silhouette let me do this merge and grab that one and then we'll go on <sighs> all right so basketball template there you go did it say where's my zip file for it but here it is not like that Ugh. open up the zip file please and thank you okay so I guess that's a bit a, a good thing to show you if once you receive the file especially if you're not buying the file by itself you would need to unzip it most computers just normally unzip it for you um, as you saw mine asked me where did I want to unzip it I really don't because I already have it unzipped somewhere in here I just gotta dig it out um, really quickly Uh, not that one. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Okay, that one open. It's a fairly large file, so it may take a minute to open. I need to note that I am using Silhouette Business Edition. So my designing may have more elements than yours have if you're using Silhouette Basic Edition. I am not even going to try to explain to you Basic Edition because I don't know what's in Basic Edition. I've never had Basic Edition. Once I bought, when I purchased my machine, I immediately, I just off the bat 
purchase business edition i didn't i don't even i never even played with the basic edition so i don't know what it has when you open the file it comes a little bit like this well something's going on with my silhouette so don't pay any attention to the jagged lines and stuff like that i updated silhouette and it's doing something retarded so don't even pay attention to that part but i give you an example of what the ball could look like okay so you can have something on the screen to work with I'm going to clear it out, though, because it's making this run really slow. Okay, so this over here, essentially, let me see, I hit ungroup. And it ungroups it out. This essentially over here is giving you an idea of what it's going to look like. But this ball that I'm doing is not going to look like that. Make your necessary judgment to fit your ball size. Do that on your own. Um... Hold on. Red line is the safe area, which means that you should make sure all your pictures and everything fit in that area. But I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that it, it work. You can do that definitely for your wording, but it doesn't matter whether you do it either, either way. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to start with this slice here. We're going to take the whole slice. We don't need the red part. We're going to just delete that. All right. She wants full pictures of... Of the of the ball she sends me so let me see where we at destiny basketball okay so she didn't send me very good pictures all of them have this black box around it but that's okay we're just gonna crop it out give me a good square or we'll crop this out and then go to the modify panel and hit crop. Oh wait, let's select both of these. Select both of them, crop. Okay, that's one picture. I'm guessing this is going to be for a coach. So, um... I'm going to do my best to try to get as much of as much of the picture inside the ball. Um I would use I would normally do this in Photoshop, but I'm going to do this in silhouette with you guys and then I'm probably going to drag it into Photoshop and do it because um I could just I could create the design better in in Photoshop, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here too. Cause see, I want this whole scenario in here, and in order to do that, say I want it about right there. That's how much of it is going to um. see that's all it's gonna give me to fit inside the ball right there and then I gotta throw all the rest of this away you see that but I will show you how to make it work since I already have this blue background I'm gonna I, I'll, I'll fix the design um, just like this one Right. I'll make sure I'm getting them all in there. Duplicate that one. Move it back over here. And then we're going to divide. And after we divide, then we'll start. Wait. Make sure you have your picture on top when you divide. And then bring it to the front. And then um, I don't need those. Don't need that one behind there.
but I want my basketball to stay in order. File, merge. Get my box. Try my box. Crop. We gotta do eight sides, so you get the you get the deal. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you to see how you have all these um straight lines. I'm gonna show you how to fix that on on in silhouette. But as I said, I'm going to go and do this in Photoshop and then I'm going to fade it out into basket into other backgrounds. I'm going to make it I'm going to make it better in, in other backgrounds. Um you really can't do a fade out in silhouette. You can do a um see like this. We're going to say merge and we'll say uh So I would probably use smoke to color mine up. So we'll take some. It's over here. And you kind of want to. Let's see. Flip it horizontally, and you kind of use it to cover up some of that darkness, and then you can um, so if you don't want to destroy, like say for instance, you don't want to destroy your your shape. But you want to cut these edges of this, um, then you um, you divide, and then you take the edges away. You know what I'm saying? And then you you'll be left with just the clouds with the with the the edges cut away, and you could just shape it however you want to to shape it. But that's how you would fix that. You know, you can add different elements. So bring to the front, like, um, like a, a strip here. You know, you can add like a. I've done that before. Where you add like a border, and you cover it up. Um. A gradient border you can change this to a gradient and it seems like it's fading into one color into the next or something like that just something to kind of hide the straight lines of the picture especially if we're not enlarging it and making the picture um, the whole piece um, that's the way you would do that you could that's that's a couple of ways you could fix that but for me for what I'm about to do so you you see that you guys saw that um let, let me do this one let's do this one together and then so delete this let's do this one together and let's let's do this one and add a basketball so so we say basketball court background you can tell I do this a lot and you just pick something like okay let's choose that one and I'm gonna do copy image right quick because we're not even gonna we're not even gonna take a long time on this and we're gonna hit paste. And let's let's do okay because I don't want to get this mixed up. Like the, the last you, what you don't want to do is get your sides mixed up. So let's let's do this one. Let's duplicate it. This goes right here. This we can delete. Okay, so we're going to enlarge this to be the full size of the slice we're about to use. So we want to 
line it up as best we can and we're gonna hit that's about where I want to be hit crop and so now you see I got this whole section cropped in there and then we can duplicate this again and then we can get get this set in there hit divide get that piece bring to the front and set this whole piece right in there or wherever it's supposed to sit you don't have to be perfect so and now you have a basketball background or basketball court background and then you have this and then you can add like I said you can add a little other elements like smoke here or a line here or something there to um, to fill in this space up here and make it not look so straight because see this part down here actually look like kind of fades in but this part of the top has this straight line um, so you could do a little you know like I said do a little bit of editing and you could get get all of that uh, straight line out by adding another line by adding clouds adding lightning adding other uh, design elements to try to cover that up because like I said if you use the eraser tool here unlike um, Photoshop where you can uh, tell it how much you want to erase and fade it's going to actually just erase all the way through so you don't want to do that um, so okay so that is that so you guys see that got it alright now I'm going to go do the real stuff okay because I got to get this ball done okay that is a graduation shirt that I'm working on File new. Let's do an 11. Uh, it's doing pixels, so let me do this. 11 by 17. And I want it to be 300. And create. I found. Place an embed. In basketball basketball template okay hold on yeah I think I picked the wrong one All right, guys. So I pull my stuff over to into Photoshop, and I'm here at Photoshop to to do it. Um, I noticed since when I when I created this design, I did not have Photoshop. I had Affinity Designer at the time. I know I need to update my um, templates to add Photoshop, and I will do that. Um, and at, at once I get through this rush, rush, rush that I got going on, I've been trying to do it for months, but I just haven't had the time. So um, simply what I did was I pulled in, um, let me get this off the screen. I pulled in the uh, PNG file. I then quick select this one slice. And once I did that, I created a clipping mask. And then once I created a clipping mask, I rasterized the mat, rasterized the layer, and then I made it into a smart object. So it could be just one piece like this. So then I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to, because I need this to be a layer by itself, and then I'm going to transform it. I'm going to flip vertical. And I think I need to flip it horizontal too. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. So. like that and 
duplicate the layer for the third one and it's here and you just need this one you just need to flip it horizontally and if you're like well how do you know that how do you know which ones which way for it to go just refer back to Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't the folder I needed to be looking in. Close search. That's why I took it for it to come up. Okay, so just refer back to um your template, and then just make sure one is up, two is down in the opposite direction, and one is up, and they're facing in towards each other. You know, just make it look like what's already there and that's the way the ball looks all the way around so um and then I will duplicate this layer and then so you can see that one just by itself um you know that it's like this so we need to flip it file place an embed no edit, edit I'm sorry transform we need to flip vertically and then we need to flip it again horizontally so we can make sure that the tip is pointing towards the other side like like these two tips at the top this here and this here are talking to each other um, and then and then these two are not they're flipped downward and not talking to each other you know that's the way I kind of look at it um, so yeah you should be able to get about three to a page um I think I did three to a page on the other basketball I can't remember yeah I think I did three to a page anywho I'm gonna work with them one at a time though so you can see how it goes so let's do this really fast I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the first three slices with you and then I'm gonna go ahead on and finish it and then I'm gonna add then I'm going to um put it on put it on the bats do the video of it printing out me cutting it out and me putting it on the basketball and I know this was a silhouette video that turned into a Photoshop video but I now just work in Photoshop better. So I go to place an embed. We go find Destiny Basketball because that's where we are. We go here. We go to place. We go to, um, since we're working with this slice, this slice we're going to do, create a clipping mask. And that's how we're going to do that. Okay. I'm going to have to make it smaller because everybody's not in there before I do that. Before I do that, let's cut this black box off. Um, knife, knife, knife. Slice. Oh, shift. Okay, slice it. Did it slice it? Okay, it didn't do it. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, it cut my hole. That's not what I wanted to do either. I really just want to cut this picture. And it's not doing what I wanted to do. Okay. 
All right, guys, so I'm having to go through and just to make this video a lot quicker, go through and crop all of these um, pictures so I can just throw them into um, Photoshop and work with them. I really don't want this to be a very long video. So I am going through using just my regular computer editor, photo editor for the picture and just really just cropping the picture so I can get, like I said, just go ahead and get to other stuff that I have to do tonight. And you just crop them up. And I'm just saving them. Like I'm not even saving it as a copy because I want to change the original to the new pictures. Come on. You froze on me. Okay, there we go. All right, y'all. Let's get this one cropped here. And then pull it up here. Okay, that's all of them. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right. Now let's take a let's go back to Photoshop. And like I said, we're going to uh, create clipping mask here. Control T. We're gonna make it smaller so everyone gets in. Everyone's in. Everyone's in. Great. So that's that one. All right. So now let's go find. Um, like I said, uh, uh, like this basketball background, like I was talking about. Let's find a couple of them.
It looks like grunge, not grudge. And this just gonna make it go faster. I'm just gonna go find some um I like this one. I'm gonna pick eight. Maybe not eight, because I see I'm going to use that one twice. Mm. I like that one. This might be a better picture of it. I'm just I'm just zooming through and just picking up a, a couple of really good ones and um putting them in there. I don't know what part I may or may not use, but you'll see what I talk about about what part. So just bear with me here. Let me just Okay, I think this is gonna be the last one. Okay. So for this one. So we can see a little bit better. File, place it in bed. We're going to do this background since I like this one. Lots, lots, lots. I'm gonna pull that one down. And now you see it is behind the picture. Let's do a little adjustment on it. Control P and make it a little wider, a little bigger. Yeah, find this right here, this part, and then say, great. All right, now you see we have this straight line, and it looks like it's two goals and two floors. So what we're going to do now is going to go to the picture, hit the eraser tool, I turn my opacity down to about 68%, and the flow down to about 97%. Um, have to rasterize the object. I'm going to turn the brush size up just a little bit. See, give me a little bit bigger circle. Give me a little bit more than that. And then I'm going to just fade it away. So it looks like they're standing on the floor of the background. And boom, there we go. We're going to just delete this whole situation behind them. And it's going to look like they're in front of the goal, in front of that goal and not the goal that they were originally in the picture with. So now I just faded those two pictures together and they have become one. And now there you go. As a person back here, probably going to try to fade them out a little bit more. But there you go. All done. That's it. Finito. Now they look like they're standing on the floor and we've merged that and made it look a mag a magnificent. Took one picture and made it into two. So now what I usually do is now that that's done, I take this and this and this and that is. And then what I say is this is group layers, slice one. And there you go okay then I, I open this up and then because I'm gonna come back and do this again and call it slice like because I need to do eight slices so either I'm gonna duplicate this section again I'm probably gonna duplicate all four of these again which I should go ahead and do that now and say duplicate duplicate layer say okay Bring it to the top up here. Um, so this is basketball slice one. 
I always have to number things so I can make sure that I know what it is. That's two. This is three. This is four. And I just, it, it just helps to keep you from getting confused. Five. So you know where you are. And then you know that you come up to the next one and then you say you duplicate this one. Move it to the top. And this is six. And this one is seven. And then you duplicate layer four. And that is eight. Yeah. Okay. And now you group slices because now we're here and that's slice one. So you need to group. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. You need to group five, six, seven, eight. Ball, side, two. And then when you get finished with all of these, then you'll group all of them together as ball side one. So just case, just so you know. So you turn it off, and now we're moving on. Okay. All right. So that's slice one. Slice two. File merge. Place it in bed. Um, okay, picture number two, place it. Shrink it. Clip it. Then place it in bed. Grunge it. just turn this and then that way I don't have to go all the way off the page to do this and then clip it then go to the picture get your little eraser rasterize it and then come in here and just cleany clean clean look at that So y'all can see. See? And you just clean that up. Look at that. All done. Then you go group, group. And then you say group. So lice. Okay. Up next. This is the last one I'm gonna do with you guys and then I'm going to finish this up and then we'll um then I'll come back. Control T drop it down. Create clipping mask. Got everybody in there. We need to do that. File. Place it in bed. I'm probably going to do that right there. This is a good one. So let's do this one. And then I'm going to enlarge it and enlarge it. Hopefully it won't be too pixelated. 
and then we're gonna move it down. Ah. I guess I can leave it like that. It's it's a it's a little bit too pixelated for me. So let me let me try something else. Try another design. Let's do this one. Oh, hopefully this won't be too pixelated. Okay, see that ain't bad. That's not bad. Pixelation behind that is not bad. So let's hit Control T on it and finish enlarging it. And then find a good spot in there. That's a good spot. And then create a clipping mask for that and let's just do the same thing okay and then we erase it fade it in give you a good gradient fade in and then do the same here And that's that. That's how you do it. Okay. All right, guys. I'll be. I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna finish this up. I may stay on camera and finish this up and just speed through the end. I may stay on camera and do it. I'm gonna do I'll finish it on camera. Alright guys.
Thank you.